Daniel Hernandez wants you to believe he's a progressive, but for years his campaigns have relied on money from huge corporations, including the pharmaceutical industry. Before the current pandemic, this country confronted an epidemic. The leading cause? The powerful painkiller OxyContin. The makers of this new drug knew by the late 90s that their pills were addictive, but the Sackler family, which owns this company, did nothing. By 2016, it was widely known that the Sackler family funded its extravagant lifestyle from this deadly drug. The opioid crisis that the Sackler family created kills roughly 130 Americans per day. That same year, 790 Arizonans died from opioid overdoses. Also that same year, Daniel Hernandez accepted two large campaign contributions from the Sackler family. The suit claims that members of the Sackler family fraudulently transferred funds from the company and repeatedly downplayed the drug's risk. We're hearing from the Massachusetts Attorney General who blames the founding family of a pharmaceutical company for helping create the opioid drug crisis. Tufts University announced Thursday it's immediately removing the Sackler family name from programs and buildings on campus because of the family's role in the opioid epidemic. The museum decided to stop taking funding from the Sacklers. And the Guggenheim is not the only institution that's cutting ties. Other political leaders and institutions saw the harm this family had done and returned such donations, but not Daniel Hernandez. When people are most vulnerable, when they're in pain or facing a global pandemic, we need leaders who will stand up to Big Pharma.